Now, there's a, a couple of young people here that wanted to talk to me. They've got a really good question. I love doing this because let's say they're young enough that they're looking for a direction of what they should be doing. Uh, let's see, what are their names? We have Riley and Andrew. How are you two guys? Good, good. how are you? Okay, when once, there you are, look at that. We'll talk for a second and everything's going to shine back in and everything's gonna be good. Riley, how old are you? I'm uh, 21. 21, and, and sorry? Andrew? I lost you. Andrew. Andrew, how old are you? 21, we're identical twin brothers. Oh man, you know what? I thought you I thought you were just brothers, but you really do look alike. Change the hair a bit. That way you can I can distinguish between the two of you. You have a question for me about your future. What is your question? So um how did you uh start your business um at 19? Um because we're starting our own custom home and renovation company right now. Um and we're just looking how you became the success that you became. Okay, first of all, Riley and Andrew, where are you talking to me from? Uh, right now we're located in Mississauga, Mississauga. Uh, but we, we are from Brantford. Okay, so I mean, I'm a bit of a freak of nature simply because I've been doing this since I was a kid. I finished my first basement at 12 years old. I did all the electrical, all the plumbing, all the designs, the stairs, you name it, I did it. At 19, I was offered under contract to run a very large company. And I mean, to me, I was an adult. I look at me now back then and say I was a young kid. But that doesn't mean anything. I knew what I could do, how I could do it, and who I am. So you want advice. First, you have to know enough to start the business. How much do you know? Well, I have a construction engineering degree. Um, and I worked up north for a couple of years uh, building multi-million dollar cottages. Um, felt confident enough to come home and give it a shot on our own. Okay. Andrew? Um, so I, I went to school. I have a diploma in business. Um, and I also have a few years uh, experience in the trade working for contractors in Brantford as well. Okay. So this means you have enough experience right now to tempt fate and go on your own, correct? Yes. Right. My advice to you, never lie. Always be honest. You are who you represent your company to be. So... Be clean, be honest, be careful, be kind, don't overcharge. You have to really never give up because it takes a long time to build a business where people can trust you, where people will recommend you. Don't start off too big. Start off small enough that you can stay busy and then grow learning more and, and keep doing this. I think the bottom line is don't give up. Integrity is the key. Never give up. You know. Man, I got my butt kicked at, at 30 years old because the recession came in Canada here, and I know you guys don't know it, that's because that was yep. 27 years ago. That recession hurts, and I didn't think it would hurt me because I'm really good at what I do. The problem was in a bad time and possibly epidemic time, and even right now is what I'm talking about, can cause a reaction to the industry. So don't put too much money in, put in more effort, and more hard. If you do that, you guys should be successful. At the same time, stay in touch with me because maybe one day I'm going to meet your help. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ray says, oh, she says, great to see you. Young people interested in construction and trades, let's not lose the knowledge. No. Everything is about the next generation of skilled trades. It just is. Yes, you're absolutely right. So thanks for asking. Please don't ever give up. Keep going and stay in touch with me. Okay. Absolutely. I will. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thanks, guys.